Here are five facts about Tusken Raiders. Number one, Tuskens initially appeared in George Lucas's second draft of Star Wars A New Hope as Imperial spies deployed on the surface of Tatooine. They eventually became a native people of Tatooine in Lucas's third draft. Number two, the Tusken Raiders barking speech was created by sound designer Ben Burt using the sound of donkeys braying and Tunisian mules barking and echoing off a of canyon walls. Number three, Tuskens believed that all water was sacred and promised to them, resulting in them raiding moisture farms set up by colonists and attacking individuals that travel too close to to the rare water wells of Tatooine. Number four, although all Tuskens wore mouth grills and eye coverings, male Tuskens wore wrappings and garments that provided protection and allowed ease of movement. While females usually wore elaborate jeweled masks with eye slits and torso covered sand shrouds, Tuscan children wore unisex cowls and could not dress like males or females until they reached adulthood. And number five, Tuskens almost never unmasked themselves even in front of one another. They were forbidden to remove their clothing in front of others except at childbirth, on their wedding night, and at coming of age ceremonies.